What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a game called Undead Horde where you will be a necromancer raising, as you might have guessed, an undead horde to slay the living. Let's necromance. My name is Orson, the last necromancer captured in a cage constructed by the paladins. Ages ago I was banished in this urn by my arch enemy, a paladin called Benevictor. Today, his arrogance works in my favor. My inept cage is being pecked apart by a bird of some sort. This is my chance to raise a new undead army, destroy Benevictor, and take back what once was ours. All right, so here we are in the wasteland, the chickening. So a chicken is going to free me. You know what? This is not the most esteemed way to become a necromancer via chicken. Uh, I never thought my ascension would happen via poultry, but I think we're going to we're going to work with that. We're going to edit that out. You know, the history is written by the victors, and when I write the history books after wiping out humanity, I'm going to say that I freed myself through sheer willpower and anger. A cavalier chicken has awoken an ancient evil trap by powerful magic for countless millennia. The time has finally come to reclaim the world for the undead. All right, let's do it. Slay the chicken. Die. Ch Did the chicken attack me? I can reanimate the chicken? All right, let's raise the chicken. Well. The chicken is dead. Long unlive the chicken. The unchickening. So apparently I have an undead chicken now. Okay. What is this? Can I free you? It looks like there's another chicken inside of there. Can I help him? I wanted to let the other chicken out so that I could be like the chicken victor. If I want to go that way, can I control the chicken? How do I control the chicken? Ooh, I can command him to destroy the urn with space. There we go. Go, mine chicken. Go forth and destroy the pottery. Become strong. All right, we're going to go this way now. Destroy that pottery as well. Murder all of the pottery in the world. Chicken, chicken, you're lagging behind here. You need to stay with me. Unfortunately, chickens are not the brightest of compatriots, unfortunately. There we go. So we can talk to the caged skeleton. Hello. Rise and shine, chosen one. The humans put us skeletons in cages when they trapped you in that urn. Good for us. They seem to have forgotten what was inside. To start our conquest, we need to free the Crypt Keeper. He's held nearby. Find him to start the revolution. You guys remember Tales from the Crypt? Dude, Tales from the Crypt was creepy when I was a kid. I can raise undead from graves with R. Yeah! The purple segmented ring represents your command cap. Each unit is a segment, and you can only command as many units as fit inside the ring. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, raise these dudes too. Raise the dead! All of the hordes are mine! So I gotta destroy all the barrels over here. Alright, everybody, come on. It's time for us to destroy! Go forth, my minions! Annihilate! Destroy! Break! The barrels are the foes of our people! Where's my chicken at? Did my chicken leave me? How come they don't follow me? I feel like they should follow me. Yeah, go kill these people over here. Alright, you guys have gathered. Let's go murder some peasants. Destroy the peasants! Nice. That's what I like to see right there. And then we will raise the peasants! I don't know. Oh, I'm at command cap right now. That makes sense. Do the peasants become zombies, or are they still skeletons? I think they're still skeletons. Oh, thank darkness you came. That cage was hugely uncomfortable. Let's get to Hades out of here. All right, so apparently we're off to Hades, or get the Hades out of here. I'm not sure. The Crypt of the Necromancer. Good. Now we can start the uprising. The living are going to pay for their foul deeds. Heal yourself and then raise some undead peasants by the summoning statues. Okay. So is this the healing thing over here? There we go. I've been healed of my one HP. And then it looks like I can pick up humanoid peasants over here. I can get chickens. I can get dire wolves. Okay. Each unit has a command value. The more powerful the unit, the higher its command value. Okay. I guess I can only take these two for right now. Let's have like some angry peasants added on into this equation. What's the difference between an angry, like I assume the difference between an angry peasant and a normal peasant is simply just the inability to contain one's emotions. Like they just need to go to like some kind of anger management class, but I wouldn't know. Quest for domination. Well done. Contact my brother when you reach the surface. Good luck on your conquest. 
All right, let's go do Oh, we got some XP and some coins. Nice. The living must pay for what they've done. The village of Kinemo will be our first target. All right, sounds good. Let's be on our way. I like how I don't walk. I just ball out and we levitate. These lives. All right, where are my enemies at? We've got Horna over here. Hello, Orson. The Crypt Keeper's imprisonment must be avenged. Destroy this pathetic village to let the living know we're back in business. Yep, and business is going to be booming by the time I get done out here. Destroy Die, village. Be destroyed. Look upon your homes in despair, minions. Oh, we got a fight over there. Hold on. I'm going to help. I'm going to help. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get him. Oh, I hit pretty hard compared to my skeletons. Nice. Okay, sweet. So, claiming areas. To claim an area, destroy all the buildings marked with y'all on the map and slay all the living. Okay. Yeah, you guys destroy what you gotta destroy over here. I'll raise up some more dead to help out with the task. Can I destroy the little farm plots or anything? Or is it just the... Ooh, a fine hammer. Hold up. What? How do I get that? You have found a new item. You can manage this in your... Ooh, okay. So, we got, like, equipment. What do I do with the battle hammer? Ooh. So, damage is an enemy for 134... 134, so it's like the same? No, it's not. Never mind. So it's slower than that, but it has higher DPS. Okay. All right. I'm okay with that. Uh, you guys destroy over here. Yeah, kill them all. That looks like a healing spring right there. I don't really need it yet, so I'm going to save it for later. Did we get any new stuff over here? We got some money. All right. I'll take some money. Money's good. Uh, let's destroy over here. Yeah, go, go break that right there. Go murder. Uh-oh. I think they're coming. To battle! Oh, wow, it one-shots. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, it's one shot around the edges here. These guys are all undead anyways. It doesn't matter if they die because they're already dead. There's no change in states. Perfect. Res more minions. Dude, I need my population cap up. That's what I really need. I want to have even more minions than I currently have. Destroy that. Oh, we got more enemies over here? Uh-oh. That's not good. Hopefully, they don't break through our lines. Hold! Destroy! I'm going to res a few more just in case. There we go. Just like, yeah, arise, chicken. Arise. Arise, chicken. Arise. I think it's producing more units over here. We're probably going to have to dedicate to this. There you go. Break this place down. And then I'll res a few more. And then we'll get at it. There you go. Break that building first. People keep coming out of it, and I don't like that. I'm going to break this house, too, while I'm over here. Just save. Oh, my God. I'm pretty good at destruction, man. Like, I'd like to say that I think I excel at this. I think I'm pretty good at it. Uh, let's go ahead and attack over there. Yep. Perfect. We'll kind of whittle around the... I wonder if I get magic spells or anything, too, that, like, blow up the battlefield. I bet you I do. Level 2 reached. Oh, really? I level up. Nice. So we can level up with tab. Sweet. I'll do that after this battle. I think we're actually losing this battle. This battle doesn't look like it's going well for me right now. There we go. Raise them on up. Oh, my raise has a cooldown. Gotcha. All right, keep attacking. I'm going to help out the best I can, but you guys keep allowing yourselves to be isolated by the enemy. And I don't think that's working very well. Just keep destroying. we got to get this thing down before the next wave. There we go. A fine axe and a deed for Kinemo. Okay. We'll check out the axe in just a second. Have I destroyed everything? I don't know if I have. Let's pick up a few more units over here. There we go. A couple more little dudes. Gather. Yeah, everybody come with me. Uh, it looks like we've got... What is this? Oh, it takes me back to the necromancy. Oh, dude, do I have to redo that level now? No, we're still good. Okay, I, I, was, a little, I was a little worried that I was going to have to redo the entire thing. So we got a battle axe right there. That does 197, and it's slightly faster than what we have right now. All right, we'll equip the battle axe. Take the deed to the commander in the crypt for a reward. Okay. All right. Have untapped potential. Oh, yeah, we haven't leveled up. So we can get more health. We can get more damage. We can get more command. This one will increase our health the most. And this one is a magician. It's in the middle somewhere. Yeah, let me get more command. I want more command. I want to be able to have more units. I want to have a giant horde. Nice work. You can feel the undead vibes already. The commander is held captive at the wall in the south from here. You should probably get a deed to him. All right. Let's do it. You conquer the world, you'll need an ancient viewpoint network. It has grown thousands of years ago, but the living rendered it unusable when they last defeated us. Okay. Well, let's go unleash whatever that is. Enemies, are you around over here? Oh, sticks. Hi. 
I once maintained the vein point network, but the living stole the pump, a massive enchanted heart of a giant. The commander might be able to help us if you can free him. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I think we can do that. What is this? Oh, we found... That's a secret? Okay, it was laying right there out in the open, but I'll take it. Yeah, destroy the enemy. Oh, these guys are actually like warriors. They have like swords and shields and stuff. Okay. We'll battle axe these cats down the best we can. I definitely feel like we're losing. Yeah, give me, give me a few more units over here just to make sure that this doesn't go too horribly. Because these guys appear to be pretty good at their jobs. We got another dude over here. Oh, you guys go down there. I'll res right here. Join. There we go. Give me give me some more hordes out here. Yeah, you guys fight away. Like, do your thing. It's actually got a little bit of like a Dynasty Warriors feeling to it almost. A poor sword. Okay. I guess I can take that. I don't know if I can break things down later or something just to make it more effective. I don't know. I'm losing minions, though. I'm probably going to focus on being a minion mancer. In all honesty, I want to have like a massive horde. That's what I want to do. I've always been a big fan of like pet builds and action RPGs. Oh wow, there's a bunch of money out in the field. Cool. The shall know my Apparently, there's secrets I need to look for too. We shall burn the nice. So a living. poor hammer right there. That's what you play when you can't afford to play Warhammer. You play poor hammer. Uh, we've got another crypt over there, and we've got a healing spot. I think I'll probably wipe out yeah. the village. Over yeah, you guys come back with me. I don't know why you're not sticking with me right now. Probably because I didn't push the button to make you stick with me because I'm a noob, but... What does this do? The gate is locked. Okay, they want me to free the commander then. I guess we'll go back down to the south. These guys don't regenerate, so it looks like... They're gonna need some help eventually. We'll go in here, we'll free the commander, and everything will be okay. The commander's prison. Alright, well, there's a lever over here. We'll open that up. And then I'm going in first. We'll fight these guys. There's one down right there with a massive crit. Yep, just keep killing. We've lost two units so far. That's okay. I can live with that. I'm going to wipe out the archers in the back while we wait. Grab a couple of these dudes. Very nice. Let these guys off the chain. It's Skellis. What's up, Skellis? Get busy living or get busy dying. Yeah, you ain't wrong about that. You ain't wrong. Would you guys like to die? Here, I'm going to kill you. I promise, you'll enjoy the undead life much better than you enjoy being alive. I promise. It's so much more awesome. You can walk around on the bottom of swimming pools because you don't need to breathe anymore. You can do that creepy invasion thing from, like, Pirates of the Caribbean where they go, like, to the bottom of the ocean. They just walk along it and you don't even have to stress about that. When you die, it's not painful and it doesn't matter. What is this? The gate is locked. All right, well, we'll try to find the commander out here. Is there just, like, one guard back here? Oh, I've been hit. Ow, I've been struck. Feels bad. I'm gonna go get all the archers out of the back. I get the feeling they probably do a lot of damage if you don't handle them. Eh, we can use a few more minions. Let's grab them. There we go. A few more. I don't know what the blues are right there. I guess they're different unit types, maybe? I think that's what it's gotta be. Alright, so the lever's done. It's a simple game, but I am having fun with it right now. The commander. Hey, buddy. At last, somebody's getting things done. I've been in this cage for centuries. I managed to hide this pump before they captured me. Take it to Sticks and meet me in the crypt later. Where'd you shove it? Like in your prison pocket? Everything's open, huh? Are there any chests or anything back up in here? A couple of pots and things. A little bit more money. What am I gonna spend the money on, I wonder? Probably for like upgrades back at the crypt or something? The fine, precise scythe of the shepherd. Let's see here. 38 damage. Damages a maximum of 6 enemies for 48. Okay. That's lower. Lower. Pretty much all of this is lower. Like, I just don't see how that's useful to me for right now. I have a heart. What does the heart do? Follow me. Hey, everybody back with me, too. Like, I need you guys, like, back over here. So we need to take this to Sticks. I think he was on the last map. I like how it's got a fast travel mode, too. Like, if you're moving for too long without combat, he'll stop walking and he'll start flying, and it's a lot faster. I like that they thought about that and they added that. That's very, very good. All right, let's get the blood flowing. Test drive the network by traveling to the crypt. The commander will certainly be interested in that deed you got. All right, let's do it. So we got the blood network over here. So we can go back to the crypt. All right, we'll just teleport on back over. Get rid of unwanted units by using the sacrificial altar in the crypt. Okay. 
Nicely done. I've prepared a powerful item for you. Sweet. What is it? A commander stick? Cast a fireball. Set enemies on fire for 104 over... Ooh, nice. Okay. An ancient evil needs to find its way south to continue conquest. A wall stands in the way and the key is being held by a dangerous adversary. Alright, well, I'm going to heal up real fast. Did we get any new units over here? We did. We got these little guys right here. And we've almost got the archers. Okay. Well, like, I'm fine with, like, the units we have. I guess I could summon more of them, though. Where's the sacrificial altar at? There it is. Yeah, just get rid of all these dudes. So we've unsubscribed the unwanted dead. They forgot to mash that like button. There we go. So now we've got warriors. Looks good. Now that we have warriors, we've got to go south. How does my fireball work? Okay. I just wanted to know how it functioned. You go south to the northern wall, I guess? We're going south to the northern wall. How's that for irony? Can I go in here yet? So that gate's locked, but we can probably go south. Oh, no. I need to talk to this guy first. Hey, bud. I see the commander awarded you with a commander's stick. It seems like you have the mana to use it. Go ahead and try it out. There you go, buddy. Hot stuff. Now go and kill John. He knows nothing, but he is a dangerous adversary and holds the key to the wall. All right. We'll go kill John because he doesn't know anything. It seems like the proper thing to do, like the gentlemanly thing to do, would be to educate him, but I get what they're going for. Fireball! That worked out, like, okay. I feel like I'm being defeated right now. You guys following along? Alright, let me get some of you guys raised up. Get these minions fixed up. Goodbye, John. It's nice to know you. I will take all these keys and clubs and everything else. Yeah, you guys need to die now, too. There's too many of you. I would like to split it about half archers and half warriors once we get a little further in. Let's break this place right here. Does fireball work on it? Oh, it looks like it does. Nice. Okay. Yeah, burn that, too. We got plenty of mana, so... If you can light stuff on fire, I see no reason to avoid it as an eventuality. Uh, we need a few more people. All right. I mean, there's dead guys over here, so we can grab a couple more. Break this house down real fast, too. We'll check all of our items in just a minute and see if we've got anything better. I do like the randomly generated loot that drops. That makes me happy. A little bit more mana right there. Got another battle axe, too. A great precise club. John is officially defeated. And a big sword right there. You can sell items from your inventory to free up space and get extra gold. Okay. So how do I sell it? Control click? Alright. So we've got a club right there. We'll just kind of go through. And anything that's not higher DPS gets gone. It says that's worth 408. I don't know about that. Poor hammer. A fancy bluish key. We've got a dagger. Got an axe. Ah, great precise club. Yeah, let's do that. That's got a higher DPS. Oh, the fine hammer has an even higher one. Critical chance plus 4%, though. I'll probably keep that then. I mean, it's magical, right? Magic's good. Okay, well, the job's done, so let's go talk to our little buddy Sticks over here because he commands us to go murder people, I guess. That is our lot in life. They point and say murder, and I say how high. Very good. You can now travel further south. Let me improve that stick a bit to give us some more oomph. Nice. Okay, so now it's snowy, apparently. Got some more XP, so that's good. Uh, we can take more mana, or we can take more command. So more mana, more command, or more health. That also gives us a bunch of damage, though. Uh, I'll probably choose the bard real fast. That looks good. I think we can deal with it. Come here. Hey, you guys come back. All right. The Alwyn area has been infested with humans. They are holding our kins undead captive. Setting them free will be our next goal. Well, let's do it. Attack my let's get on in there. The more of them we kill, the better. Probably going to lose that little dude on the side, but that's okay. I got time for more minions. Yeah, probably blow that up real fast. Oh, we got more enemies coming out. All right. I was trying to put this thing on hold, but I guess not. Perfect. Yep, you guys aren't tough enough. You should probably stop this. Yeah, kill this over here. There you go. Set it on fire. 
bequeath unto it the flame. The Staff of Confusion. That might be helpful. What does the Staff of Confusion do? And then we've got the Deed for Northern Wall. Sweet. All right. So we've claimed five out of 38 areas. Sounds like the plan. These lands shall be ours soon. Yeah, I would agree. Oh, it's Ben a Victor. You, the embodiment of evil. I banish thee. Go back to whence thee cameth from. I will fight you to death, but maybe later with my paladin brothers. Apparently, we're having a chicken battle right now. I don't know why a paladin brought like a thousand battle chickens with him, but I guess that he did. He brought many, many battle chickens with him. I could raise an entire army of battle chickens if I desired it. Oh yeah, the Staff of Confusion. What does that do? So effective enemies are stunned for 2.3 seconds. Oh wow, that sounds disgusting. Oh, I need to be level 4 before I can equip it. Okay. But that sounds really, really powerful. I like that way better than the Fireball. I mean, the Fireball's got more flash and more panache. But... Like, Confusion seems like utility-wise, it's probably more useful. Let's see if I can get rid of this spawner real fast. There we go. And then once I start to see us losing people, I'll summon a few more. There we go. Everybody get on in here. Got jobs to do. Oh, if you set it on fire, it stops it from generating units. Well, that utility right there actually makes fire a lot more attractive. Like, I was considering putting in Confusion when we level up again, but that does make it a lot more attractive. The fact that, like, any building that's on fire doesn't produce units, that's pretty good. I kind of like that. Yeah, you guys need to stop. There we go. We'll set that on fire real quick so that it stops producing. And while they focus on that over there, I'll kill this. There we go. More monies! Even a necromancer got bills to pay, man. Even a necromancer got bills to pay. The Staff of Chickenify. I think I have a feeling what Chickenify does. I think I've got a sneaking suspicion as to what Chickenify is actually useful for. Or maybe it's if the building's taking damage it doesn't produce. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two right now. We've got a full squad at the moment, so why stress? I think I see a little path down here. Can I break this? Oh yeah, there's warriors and stuff down here. Yeah, I need my I need my guys down here. Vesa Turi. All right, we'll light them on fire real quick. I'm gonna let my I gotta let the undead tank for you. What's the point in having minions if they're not willing to die? You know, under your protection. Oh, that guy's got armor and stuff. He's like an upgraded version. Okay, what does this do? Ooh, nice. It's an honor to be liberated by one of the fabled necromancers. I've been captive for eons, and the living have used me as a cemetery spirit or something. I'll set up shop in the crypt. Oh, I can buy stuff. Nice. That'll be cool. I can res from these greys, but I don't know if there's a point right now when we're at max unit cap. All right. What else we got going on? We've got a Dagger of Fury, which does 131 DPS. We can do Chickenify right now. Turn the nearby living enemy with the most max health into a chicken. Oh, I thought it was going to AoE. Okay. Uh, the dagger is actually the best thing that we have for right now, so I'll take that, I suppose. It attacks fast. It's got that going for it. I actually wouldn't hate having, like, a healing staff. Like, something to kind of take the edge off some of this damage, but I don't know what the way the game works. If they're going to let me have that, that might be too powerful. So what's up with this location over here? Oh, there's like guard towers. Okay. What you got to say? Nothing? Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well. But what you did? Mm, what you say? What did she say? That song always gets stuck in my head whenever I hear it. And now it's going to be stuck in your head because we have to share that with each other. That's how the internet works. I'm being struck. Leave me alone. I'm just a friendly neighborhood necromancer. I don't want to fight. I just want you all to be dead. You shall living shall know my wrath. Yeah, maybe set that on fire before it produces more units that are going to like ruin my life over here. I have a lot of archers. Why do I have so many archers? I have like a wild and crazy number of archers right now. Yeah, I got to get some more frontline guys. I think is what's going wrong here. So there we go. We'll frontline it on up. Uh, I will heal after we get done with this battle over here, but it seems like it's getting a little nutty. 
Seems like it's getting a little nutty over here. Come on. Kill. There we go. Uh, a few more units, because we do seem to be losing right now. A fine dagger in there. We'll attack this building to stop spawns. Come on. There we go. The Staff of Confusion. Another one, huh? Alright, everybody back with me. Set them on fire real quick. Yep, I don't want to set archers on fire. There we go. We'll put that right there. And we'll grab a few more archers. Just kind of keep the damage going out. Put them in combat mode. Like that build. Oh, I was too late. Damn. I tried really hard, though. I think that counts for something. I mean, like, in my family, it didn't count for anything. Like, you either succeeded or, you know, you didn't. But, like, in your family, maybe trying real hard counted for something. Health. Good. Health is solid. I like health. Health is good. Let's get a few more warriors over here. There we go. I think these guys slowly, like, despawn, too. I'm pretty sure. Maybe light that on fire for a second. Make it a tad quicker to get in here. We'll rescue Hilda. Four. Yep, another fireball right there, just to get their health moving a little bit. Just to just to get give them a little tingle, you know what I mean? I'm a tingle gifter. It's what I like to do. Uh, if you guys can be rezzed over here, I definitely want the little guys with helmets and armor and whatnot. They're pretty rad. Trying to take back the ancestral lands, huh? Well, I wish you well on your quest and promise to serve you well. Ancient evil has never really looked so good. Meet me in the crypt. I'll have something for you. Nice. Okay. So I think the crypt is going to like slowly become like a little villager city. Yeah, pretty cool little game. This game is called Undead Horde. If you guys liked it, don't hesitate. Put a like on the video. It helps me know who's engaged. And, like, if you end up liking it a lot, I can do another episode. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Uh, you can get the game down below in the description. If you don't know who I am or what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sit through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming so that you don't have to. How you doing? Take care, everybody. Have something hot and fresh for you tomorrow.